called and chosen, appointed and anointed. Making Jesus Lord of your life is the best thing that you can do. The Bible says that all who call upon His name shall be saved. Let's do that right now. Lord Jesus, I call upon Your name. Forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart. I make You my Lord and Savior. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Called and Chosen Appointed and Anointed John 15 verse 16 is most assuredly one of my most favorite verses of Scripture. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit and that your fruit will last. Then the Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Oh, that's a glorious promise. But the part that I want to emphasize is the first part of the verse. Let me read it again. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit. We have been called and chosen, and we have been appointed. You may be thinking, appointed for what? To go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. In the first chapter of Galatians, Paul tells about how he was called and appointed by God. And now we have been to Matthew 28, 18 through 20. Then Jesus came and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always even to the end of the age. This is known as the Great Commission. It's when Jesus himself called us and gave us his authority. Mark 16 verse 15 also cites Jesus' words, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. It's been really exciting taking a look at these verses. Think of it. We have been called and chosen we have been appointed by God, but let's ask this question. What about the anointing? Where does that come in? Jesus told his disciples to wait until they were clothed with power. And that reference is Luke 24, verse 49. <laughs> that happened, too, with the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. That happened 
on the day of Pentecost, Acts 2, verses 1 through 4. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place, and suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on all of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Luke 11.13 says, How much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask? So, let's pray and ask right now. Father God, I thank you for sending Jesus. Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming, taking on my sin, and dying in my place. Lord, I thank you for calling me, choosing me. I thank you for appointing me, and yes, anointing me. Fill me as on the day of Pentecost with your precious Holy Spirit. I thank you in Jesus' name. Right now, I ask you to just close your eyes and speak whatever comes to you in your spirit be they broken syllables or words that you don't understand, do that as an act of obedience to the Spirit. Shama kahale le la boko hoda, iaba kaha de 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 hida, ele shisma kale ahala. Just speak out what He gives you right now and thank Him for it. Amen.